Well, what's going on? First thing I want to do is say thank you to everyone who has bought training. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, thank you to the Nerd Tribe. I really love you guys. Thank you for the well-constructed comments. And it's been a good week. I sold a Mercedes. I sold another car. And let, let's talk about this. Shout out to MJ, a black man who knows how to conduct business. Reached out onto me, reached out to me from Craigslist. Uh, we met, he was looking at a few cars and he wanted to have the car checked out by a mechanic. We kind of miss each other and I say, sorry, my bad. And he said, could you bring the car to my mechanic's shop, please, the next day. And since I'm on break, I got time to do that stuff. So I took the car over there, mechanic checked out the car, the car was fine. And I was asking 7,500, there was a few issues with the car. We settled to a price of 6,900. He wanted me to do an emissions and the oil change, no biggie, I went ahead and did it. And he showed up at 12 o'clock today with cash money. And th this is one of the things, this is how I know I really needed this break because typically I like to think positive of people. And you know, this guy was so professional, so upfront, so up straight up, he gave me the money. I didn't even count it. This is how much I trusted this guy. So I signed over the title, wrote the bill of sale, went to the bank, in the envelope, 6,900 bucks. So it's been a really, really good week because, you know, I don't know if I talked about this last time, but I'm no longer selling on eBay and I really have um, come way, way down, way, way down. This, this break was definitely needed it. Uh, I haven't worked out this week. I start working out again next week. I started the training and stuff the 1st of October. This has been a nice little break. And once again, thank you to all of my people in the Nerd Tribe. Thank you to everyone who's bought a course because we about to start cooking. Um, 2023 is literally around the corner and I've got some plans for some additional training that we're gonna get into. I've had many, many people ask me about trust. I have many people ask me about LLCs and holding companies. And this is something I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into later in the video, but that training is coming because also, I got my Cobra trading account set up, Schwab trading account, and I am just a few days away from getting my TD Ameritrade account set up. And I'm gonna stop there. Three accounts, that's plenty for what I need to do. And then I'm gonna start paper trading and back testing. Some a lot of people don't really talk about, but back testing seems to be a very viable strategy. So I'm gonna start doing that and all this other stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna start cooking, we're gonna start cooking in October. So like I said, it's been a really, really good week. Um, I've, like I said, I've calmed down and um, I've employed some new social media policies because typically I like to <laughs> clap back, right? And I need to refrain from that because I was going into this spiral of negativity and all of the other stuff and making videos, clapping back at the haters and stuff. And I was like, you know what? We need to stop that. So I stopped it. I deleted the videos because it was the thing to do. And I'm glad that I did it. And once again, from a mental health standpoint, I am getting back to my positive. And like I said, dude, I didn't even count the money. Because like I said, we, we're entering into a new sphere of positivity. We're entering into a new sphere of relativity and everything's going well. Me and my girl are getting along just great. Plenty of sex, plenty of fun, 
a lot of giggles, a little alcohol. So we're having a good time over here and I'm getting ready to do this. I actually got rid of the Mercedes BMW. And let me go ahead and tell you this story. I had a Camry that was wrecked and it took me five months to get a, a, a check out the insurance company. And typically with a wrecked car, they will pick up the car and take it to Copart or IA or somewhere like this. And I have to sign in the title and send it in. So I've had this wrecked Camry in the parking lot for like ever. And I'm just like, okay, they didn't contact me. So I still had the title. So what I did is I called up cash for cars. And this is something else. I've sold some junk cars before, but cash for cars, they gave me $1,400 for this wrecked Camry. And the insurance company gave me 10,000. I only paid $8,000 for the car. So I sold it, they picked it up, I got a check, and it has made me, because right now I am down to seven cars. And after this video, I'm gonna be down to six. Because what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna give the 2006 BMW 330i to someone in the tribe. So this is how you can get into, let's call it a raffle. What you have to do is take a picture, go to your account, you know, go to, well, go to this channel's front page and, you know, and do a screenshot where it's going to show you that you're subscribed to the channel. Okay. And then tag me on the corporate trader on Instagram. So you gotta be subscribed. You gotta do a screenshot, post it on your Instagram, and then tag me on the corporate trader. And then um, probably before the end of the month, I'll do a drawing and whoever wins, you got, now this is the thing, you gotta come with a tow truck to get this car. It, I don't, I wouldn't trust it to run because it needs, uh, and it's leaking oil. Um, it needs a tune-up. And I think once you get the tune-up done, I think the car runs just fine. It has 196,000 miles on it. So that is what I am going to give somebody. And once again, these are the rules. Go to the, the, the Institute of Economic Thought channel page. And when you see the subscribe button, it's gonna show that you're subscribed. Do a screenshot, then post it on your Instagram, and then tag me, the corporate trader. That's my only, well, I have two Instagram, but we're gonna do this. Tag me at the corporate trader, and I, I'll just pick someone at random to get this free BMW, because I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood, and yeah, I'm pretty much, you know, since I've been on break, I've been thinking about this, I'm probably gonna do this like twice a year because this has been really, really good for me. It's been really good for my, like, once again, I know, I know my attitude was bad. It was really, really bad. And it was just dealing with all of the lowball offers from eBay, Craigslist, all, and uh, Facebook Marketplace, dealing with the moist men. And, you know, I just had to step back. And I'm glad that I did because now we can start cooking because like the next three months are going to be really, really exciting because like I said, a lot of people want this new training and we're going to get into it. So this is the time to get rich. The economy is going to shit. I predict once again, I will go on record and state that after the election, the economy, which is crashing at the moment, crypto is struggling the stock market has been down for nine months and what's it's going to be a free fall after the election they're going to let shit drop and this is the time to get rich this is the time to get rich and i'm going to facilitate some training because here's the thing kind of going back 
to one of the reasons that I'm giving everyone who bought the corporate, um, not the corporate papers. I forget, dang, I, it'll come to me later on. But the, the first corporate course, Pete, it wasn't designed for the average person. And that's something, because I, I sold quite a bit of that course. I, actually, I made that's the course I made the three million on. Um, so one of the reasons that I'm doing these new courses, and I'm like, I'm getting, it's like, hey, you guys bought the uh, corporate, not the, it's not the corporate game, it's not the corporate papers, um, but whatever that was, because I can't remember it at the time. I am this new training now. Once again. I've gone ahead and given people who enter into the two corporate programs, the Art of Profit Business School. Now, this new training is gonna be 100% new and I will charge. Now, if you bought the corporate papers or the other corporate thing, there will be a massive discount for you. But one of the things I'm gonna do is design a curriculum for the average person because you know, I made a lot of money in the recession. So I know how to make money in the recession and I know how to teach people how to make money in the recession. And this is where we get into the real, the ism, the realness. A lot of you are consuming content that is not good for you. It's kind of like mental junk food. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, someone to put up a video how to scale seven figure business. All okay. right. The problem with watching that kind of content, there are people who have legitimately created seven figure businesses. But what I have learned with the course creation business is there's a certain way that you have to teach people. There's a certain way that you have to lay out the curriculum. And a lot of these people who may be really, really good with their business actually suck as a teacher. So they'll leave out stuff. Like give you an example. One of the reasons that I be redundant and I go really, really simple is because I know there are so many people who need that step one, step two, step three, step four. They need it laid out just like that. And if you go ahead and you talk about a concept and you assume that people know all of the little details, like with trading, like I, it took me a minute cause I had to buy something called stock charts. I did not understand because I am new to trading that when you open up a brokerage account, your brokerage account is just a place for you to execute trades. They don't have all these charts and stuff. That's a separate software. But no one has broken it down. Like I've watched many trading videos and not one of these people who were traders said, this is what you need to get this, these screens. Not what, no one. Cause here's the thing. They may be good at what they do, but they suck as a teacher, as an educator. So that's one of the problems. Now, there's another problem. Many of you are trying to fight above your weight class. Now, what do I mean by that? All right, you're watching the video talking about making 10 million and your business don't even make $5,000 a month. Okay, let me give it to you straightforward. Let me give you the realism. Let me give you the ism. Before you make your first million, you need to make your first dollar. And then you need to make your first 5,000. Then you need to make your first 10,000 and 20 and 30 and 40. You got to make your first 100,000 before you make your first million. There is no way that you can make a million dollars before you've made your 100,000. So you see a lot of aspirational videos. Um, I got a video that's coming up on B-School for Hustlers because I'm all up in my feelings. I'm not going to rehash that here, but you see a lot of people who are putting out, how can I say this? 
a lot of people are not true entrepreneurs. You have people who are true business people, but they're not true entrepreneurs. And what I mean by that is like my business, my business is 100% esoteric. I can take concepts. I can take things like, you know, selling this corporate training information and the intellectual, I can actually put all that stuff together out of my mind. A lot of people can't do that. This is why Toro training is so popular. Airbnb training is so popular. You really don't see a lot of people talking about how to start a non-trendy popular business. Give you an example. I have a friend who owns a business that helps out people who've been in accidents. What they will do is they will buy their lawsuit. So let's say you were in a car accident and you got really, really messed up. My boy Michael's company will pay all your medical bills and get you top treatment medical, but you will have to sign some paper that they will get the lawsuit because they will go ahead, they will bring in their attorneys and they will fight your case. And right now you will get money right now for your medical needs and living and stuff. And they will get paid when the lawsuit settles, which could be six, seven, eight years in the future. How many people you don't know, talk about those kind of businesses or, you know, the other day I was, I went to lunch and I did not know Google had a building here in Atlanta. Go downtown Atlanta. You're on 7585 heading toward the airport and to the left, you will see Google has a building in Atlanta. I didn't know that, but we're going to get into basic foundational training for you to get your first business. Cause this is where I made a mistake and I apologize for that mistake. Cause once again, it has taken me a few years to become a good teacher. And what I'm going to do, cause there's so many things that I'm getting ready to do. So many things like I'll share something with you. That's very personal. I cannot apply for any more credit. I applied for bank of America and us bank business credit cards, and they both got declined for the same reason. Too many new open accounts. And also for those of you who are curious about, Chase's 524 rule, which is if you've had five accounts opened in the last two years, you cannot get any of Chase personal credit cards. And guess what? That extends to their business products. So I've got to garden from now until about next December. I can't apply for anything that does a hard pull. <clears throat> Interesting with that, everybody is hitting experience because the other day I'm in Atlanta, I went to the Delta Community Credit Union and I assumed because I had an account there and apparently because I wasn't really, I didn't put no money in there and they closed the account. So the first time I was with Delta, they used Equifax. So I went in there because, you know, my Equifax has, the, has only six inquiries. Everyone's been tagging Experian and TransUnion. Those are, you know, Tran Experian, I have 15 inquiries and I'm going to get rid of four of them because I actually had more than that. <laughs> I had more than that because I actually did the um, Experian credit hack, which works, but it takes you a little bit of stuff. So I'm going to get those four removed and then I'm going to get some American Express business products because I cannot apply for anything else that's going to become a open account on my personal credit. At the moment, I have tapped out. I've opened up like 16 new accounts this year, so I cannot get any more. And one of the things that I have learned from doing this, because you know, I went to Delta Community Credit Union and I thought I would be Gucci, right? Guess who they hit? Experience. I'm like, that's the one. And once again, you know, my credit score was good. I got cash money. I'm just sitting there like, all right, I ain't applying for nothing else because everybody seems to be going to experience. 
a U.S. bank hit my, this is my worst credit report in terms of inquiry. Experian first, TransUnion second. For some reason, not a lot of people are hitting Equifax. But anyway, uh, what I'm getting ready to do is I have about 700,000 in personal credit. So I'm pretty good there. And when the, you know, I got the decline, I didn't even trip because you know, I'm good. But what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna teach people how to do this because I saw this girl and I, I, I wanted to leave a nasty comment because she was blatantly lying. Oh, I have an American Express business credit card with a $500,000 limit. No, you don't. Here, here's how American Express works. When you first get the card, they give you your max limit. I don't even know what it was because I've never charged up that. But that second month, they start like, hey, all right, this is what you did the first month and you've paid us. And American Express will tell you, hey, we're not going to approve anything else unless you make a payment of such and such right now. This is the email I got. So I know that this chick, based upon her YouTube channel, based upon her presentation, she doesn't have the financial means to get a $500,000 limit because that's not how American Express works. You got to use it and you have to keep using it because pretty much I feel uh, my American Express limit was probably like 50,000 and they were going to shut me off after that. And I am someone with credentials. I can send American Express my tax returns. I can send American Express my bank statements. I've got money. I've got, I got seven figures in the bank, cash money. So once again, this whole thing is what I call the rah-rah movement, where people get people all hyped up and excited. And the thing is, business isn't rocket science hard. No, it's not. And Business is something that the average person could learn to do, learn to do it well in about three years. And this is how I sell it. I don't, I don't be saying like, hey, you take my course in you know, 90 days, you're gonna be able to quit your job. Uh, that's extremely fast and it's extremely unlikely. But you will see a bunch of YouTube marketing indicating that that's what you can do and you will see so much of that that is pre, pre, just false. It's just false because one of the things that you have to do and you have to understand, and I want you guys to listen to me and I want you guys to hear me. When you first start your business, there is no work-life balance. Throw it out, just throw it out. You're gonna have your job, you're gonna be working, you're gonna to go to work Monday through Friday and you're gonna come home and you're gonna to go to work again. And it's gonna be like that for a minute if you wanna be long-term successful, right? And I am seeing stuff like, well, Josh bought our program and Josh was busy traveling the world and he made $30,000 last month while he was in China. And I understand, I'm not mad at them for selling the product because I sell products. That's not the issue. The issue is these fantastical lies. These are not misstatements. These are not mistakes. They're outright lies. Because here's something else I know as an online course creator and an educator. Years ago when I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I had people who took that course who had already been in business two to three years. Guess who had the best outcomes from that course? The people who were already in business. And the guy who was doing like 10, 15, he went to 30, 40, $60,000 a month after taking that course because I filled in those spaces because you know, he had already gotten over that hump of getting started, getting customers, getting cash flow. He had already gotten over that hump and my course just filled in the gaps. But the hardest, part and this is where i feel that 90 percent of the youtube content the tick is aimed at beginners 
with that rah-rah shit. Claim it! Who in here is gonna be a millionaire next year? Raise your hand. That bullshit. That, that's just some straight up bullshit because you can manifest, you can claim it. I'm gonna tell you something that I did. I believe in manifestation to a point, but I actually believe in action more to a point. This is something I used to do with my Craigslist protocols because I do believe in the metaphysical. I do. What I would do before I would write my ads is I would sit down and I write up what kind of woman that I wanted to show up. I wanted her to be so tall, five foot, five foot nothing to five foot three. I wanted her to be tiny. I wanted her to be submissive. I would actually have this checklist that I would write up before I wrote up my Craigslist ads. And I would get chicks who fit 70%. 70% was a general acquisition. And every now and then I would get someone that would hit like 80, 90% which was crazy. And, um, you know, I believe in the metaphysical, but for you to sit on your ass and like, I claim it in the name of Jesus Christ, I will be a millionaire next year. Who in here in the next six months gonna have six figures in the bank, driving a new car in front of their new house? Claim it. All right, black folks, we need to stop having fucking church. This is business. This ain't about claiming it. It ain't about manifesting. It's about getting off your ass and doing the work. So one of the things that I consistently see in the Take Invest Fest put on by Earn Your Leisure, I peep some of that. And let me just say something that may come across as dismissive, condescending. I am not going to listen to someone who comes on stage with the Mr. T starter chain, open shirt, tattooed with face and throat tats. I am not going to listen to this person for financial advice. I, I'm just not, I'm just not because I am, you know, I saw some of that and I'm just sitting there like, and I went to the YouTube channel and it was more aspirational there. This is one of the things that gets me. None of these guys actually tell you the technical details of how to do some stuff, except one guy I was on Earn Your Leisure, and there's this guy named Aristotle Invest. And at first, he kind of came off as one of those rah-rah people. But I listened to the whole interview, and he started to drop some truth. He said the average person's gonna take two to three years to become proficient in trading. I was like, and that, that's something else I noticed. Because he was telling the truth, that video did not get as many views as the aspirational Market Monday views on Earn Your Leisures. Because when I came across it, it was at 47,000 views. Now it's at 66. He dropped some truths. He talked about technical analysis. He talked about high outcome trading strategies. He put out some good information. So I was like, okay, all right, I can rock with that. I can rock with that. But be really in, you know, he ain't all tatted up. He's tall, he's got long hair, but all right, call, well, call me prejudice, but I am not gonna listen to you about high level finance advice when you have a throat tattoo. I'm just like, cause typically, and there's a lot of them in the Forex space, in the day trading space who have these face tattoos and throat tattoos and Cause I've been around real wealth. I've been around dudes worth 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, hundred million dollars. And I ain't see none of that shit. None of that shit. These are bona fide, verified people with high net worths. And I don't see that crap with that crowd. I just don't see it. 
And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But once again, image is everything, right? Image is everything. So <laughs> I see, and once again, Aristotle, he was talking about some stuff and he was talking about making all this money. And I actually believe the dude made the money because he said something. He was selling a book. He was selling products. That's how he made his first million, not through investing. He actually said, I was selling the book. I was doing this. I was doing this. And he made more money running a business than he did from investing. And that's why I believe the dude was telling the truth because here's the thing. If you only have a little money to invest, you're, you're making 30, $40,000 a year. You do not have the capital position to get rich through investing. You don't have enough capital. You just don't. This is why uh, Ryan, whatever his name is, Vincos, the, the guy who claims to be this crypto billionaire, that's why he's full of shit. Because at no point in his trajectory did he have enough capital to deploy in the crypto market to become a billionaire. He just did. He just did. And unless you have millions of dollars to swing trade or something like that, you just don't have enough capital to create the outcome that you want. And it ain't me, it's a math issue. Men lie, women lie, math doesn't lie. Now, if you're in the position where you make $250,000 a year and you can put $100,000 in investment, guess how long it's gonna take you to become a millionaire? Eight and a half years at $100,000 invested per year. It's still gonna take you eight years. So when I hear an Anton Daniels talk about, I became a millionaire through investing and do this under 40 years old and he had, a, there has not been enough time for his investments to make him a millionaire. And that's why I call bullshit on that because men lie, women lie, math doesn't lie. And if you have a business, once again, going back to Aristotle, he wrote a book, he was selling a book, he was making a lot of money from his book, and he had a niche, he was in the military, he was selling to other military dudes, and this is one of the things I know from being in the military, that if you have someone in the military who's trying to do something, military dudes typically support other military dudes, there's an inherent loyalty there, so I believe that, and you know, this whole notion that you can take a little bit of money, and this is why options trading has exploded, because people are trying to leverage a little bit of money into a significant amount of money. And you know, shout out to Diamond Dave, someone I respect, I think he's an intellectual, but Diamond Dave has said on his channel time and time again that he does not have enough capital to make the trades that he wants to have make. He doesn't have enough capital yet. Uh, the way he's going, I think he'll get there, but he is someone who's not a bullshitter. And he will say like, hey, you know, I wanna do this, I wanna do these trades, but I didn't have the capital that I wanted. Cause capital is so important in trading. This is why the trading desks of JP Morgan Chase, uh, Bank of America, th these guys, don't because they, they they deploy professionals and see when you're in the market this is who you're competing with you're not competing with johnny or sue well and to a degree you are because here's the thing in the markets when someone wins that meant someone lost so if you're making a lot of money you're pretty much taking the incompetent people in the market's money that's the marketplace inefficiency with trading. It's, it's pretty much, if you won, that meant someone else lost. The winner takes the spoils, you know? So one of the things that I really want to get into is this is a recession. We're gonna have food shortages. Uh, we're going to see a multitude of things transpire, but, this is the time to get rich. 
Number one, if you have a job, you ain't quitting your job. That, that, that can be one of the stupidest things you can do because your job pays your rent, puts food in the refrigerator, puts gas in your car, pays your bills. Because essentially, when you start a brand new business, it's a baby. You would not expect, you, would, you wouldn't tell your six month old baby to go to the kitchen and get you a glass of water. But I am perplexed and amazed at how many people will expect a six month old business to support them and to support itself. It just, once again, this is why I'm saying it takes three years, three years, because when you're, you know, you know what your main job is when you start a business, getting customers and making money. That's the, that's what you need to be focused on. You don't need to be focused on corporate strategy that can come later. You don't need to be focused on uh, intellectual property. You don't need to be focused on branding. You don't, I mean, that that's just pointless because when I started my first business, GC Solutions, the reason I made $250,000 because I was an outside salesperson. It was my job to go out and bring in money. That was my job. And I applied my job to my business and I made money. Every day I woke up, I was making calls, I was setting appointments, I was showing people furniture. I was doing money generating activities all day long. I was working for business environments, then I worked for my stuff and sometimes they overlapped, but <clears throat> The reason I made so much money is that was my primary focus. Like to this day, and I want to speak to you, you can be successful in business. Not next month, not next week, not even possibly next year. But if you give yourself three to five years and you focus, you really, really focus, on making money, you can dramatically change your life. Because once again, like, I don't wanna see anyone suffer. Um, I don't wanna see anyone hurt. But the reality is, it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna put myself in a position to get richer off of the decline. And you should be doing the same thing. Like, once again, I have no problem. I have no problem with someone selling stuff. I have no problem with the prices that they put on what they're selling. My problem is the method in which they sell it, which is rich and bullshit. Because here's the thing, and I got some videos coming up on B-School for Hustlers. I got some videos coming on the corporate game. Um, one of the things that you have got to do, especially in your beginning season of your business, you gotta do what makes you money. That should be a pre that should be like as important as you breathing. What can I do today to get money in my business? That is the question that you have to ask yourself every day that you, you wake up and you go out into the marketplace and you try to get money and bring it back for your business. That's the most important thing you gotta do your first two to three years. Like when I started here on YouTube, I had, making money a to z with self storage auctions i pushed that fucking book for five years every video you can go to my website or you can go to amazon i pushed that book for five fucking years and this this is one of the things that i talk about see you're an average person right now and there ain't nothing wrong with that and with the right seasoning you because here's the thing and I want you to hear me. If the way that you currently are was enough for you to be financially successful, you would be. The fact that you are not shows you, illustrates you that you currently, currently do not have what it takes to be financially successful. However, that can change. And once again, I look at who I used to be when I was working three jobs. I, I don't even think the same. Here's something else about me. I cannot watch normal television. 
like it's football season, I'm watching football season. These commercials are so stupid. They're annoying. This is because typically I am a Netflix guy. I watch a lot of movies or I watch a lot of shows, but I don't really consume a lot of publicly broadcasted television, your ABC, your CBS, those shows, those commercials are just stupid. They insult my intelligence. I'm like, really? Really? And you're, you're not seeing clever, but once again, these, these commercials are designed for America. They're designed for America. So I am nothing like I used to be. And I had to make that transformation to get here because years and years ago, cause I'm going on my 24th year as being an entrepreneur and who I used to be. If I remain that person, I would not be in the position that I'm in today. Wouldn't it happen? Cause one of the things there was so much I had to learn. And this is one of the things that this break was really good for me because I'm remembering like, you know, I don't know if I've ever said this in a YouTube video. You have to consistently market. What I do is direct response. I put some out, hey, it works, or hey, it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, we revise it, then we put something else out. And if you have noticed, and this was another reason I needed to take a break. How many times before I took a break would you see a video without a marketing message? See, that's the thing. Whether you feel like it or don't feel like it, you got to put in that marketing message. And once again, I, like I saw waves, like there was one message that I put out that resonated real well because I woke up and I had 12 sales. That was like $30,000 in less than 12 hours. So you consistently put out markets, Cons you, you, market, you, you, you can't stop, you can't stop. And this is why I mean, because who I used to be, I didn't have discipline. I, I didn't understand. I didn't know what I didn't know. I, didn't, I really didn't know because I, I considered myself to be smart and ethical and hardworking, but it's more than that. You've got to be experienced. Like I got to the point when I was in the storage auction business, I could walk into a retail store and just walk around and know if they would be in business six months in the future or not based upon what I saw because I had that level of experience. I knew what it took to run a retail operation. I knew what it took to market a retail operation. And you cannot replace or beat experience. You just can't. So we're gonna get into a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in the next three months because I'm, like, I'm getting ready to really start leaning on people. Everyone's gonna have their LLC set up before well, the first of the year. They're gonna have their LLC set up. We're, we're gonna get into a deeper level of training, a deeper level of account ownership and accountability because this is the time to get rich. When the world is crashing, food shortages, uh, once again, this, this, I'm getting ready to tell you something I'm getting ready to do. I ordered a Porsche a 2022 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. Uh, the cost is gonna be, I think like 260 with tax and everything. They have a car and my car is completely specced out. Ceramic brakes, sports exhaust, everything. I didn't upgrade for the sound system because I really don't care that much. You know, a decent radio is fine for me, but I've specced it out and it's yellow with a red roof, a red interior. So this is gonna be a highly desirable spec. Um, on the showroom floor, they got a 2021 model with 12,000 miles for 308. So guess what I'm gonna do? After I get my car, and I also ordered a, a Cayenne. After I get my car, I'm gonna go in, because this is how you have to order cars with Porsche. You have to put $2,500 down, down to wait in line. And then an allocation will come up and then you go ahead, put your deposit down. And then that's when they actually start building your car because my car should be here 
15th of October. That's what I'm thinking. And then I'll go ahead and pay for it. And you know, once again, this is going to be part of the new training. That car is not going to be in my name. It's going to be in the business name. And the new Cyan, I also ordered a Cyan. I've got two cars ordered on Porsche at the moment uh, that I can deduct the whole cost of that car. Because I'm in the enjoyment phase of life. I can pay taxes on that money. I can use that money and have more fun with my money. So we're gonna be getting into a lot of different training, a lot of different stuff. Uh, I feel reinvigorated. I feel ready to take on the world. And like I said, going forward, I'm gonna probably be taking breaks like this twice a year where I'm just going, hey guys, about to go on break. I'll be back so-and-so and just chill. Cause this has been really, really good for me. Like I've been eating well, you know, just doing stuff. And like I said, this has been a great week. Sold a Mercedes, sold a BMW. And once again, I am not bullshit. If you go ahead and you take a screenshot of being subscribed to the channel and tag me at the corporate trader on Instagram, you will be entered into the drawing. And once again, I'm gonna give this car away. Might as well give it away to someone who supports me versus a random stranger on Craigslist. Cause I was thinking about that. I really need to show love to the people who show me love. So that's one of the things I'm gonna do. So someone in the, the, the tribe is gonna get this car. And this is just the beginning of the giveaways, just the beginning. Cause I'm pretty much gonna start doing little stuff like this, doing what I can. Because um, like I said, um, yeah, I got a brand new computer. I was selling this on eBay, right? And some dude in India won it. And th this is the crazy thing with eBay. They'll, they'll bid on it, but they don't want to pay the high price of shipping. Cause I'm like, dude was like, you can ship it for $30. No, I can't. Cause the way the eBay works, I must ship it with a tracking number. And if I ship it for $30, I'm not getting a tracking number and you get a computer and I don't get paid. So that's probably something that's going to be in the next giveaway. Cause I'm going to space them out. I'm not going to do like giveaway on top of giveaway, but, um, also, if you, you, you win the car, you have got to do a testimonial video. Once again, that's part of the deal. You must stay, because when you come pick it up, I'm going to film you picking up the car, me signing on the title to you. This is part of the deal. You've got to do the testimonial, all right? So also with the new training, if you go ahead and buy the program, you will get the new training. And then October, I will flesh it out and I will explain it more. But once again, if you go ahead and buy the program, you will get the new training. Just letting you know. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Once again, much love to the nerd tribe. Much love to the people who support me because I in turn will start supporting you since you support me.